Hi fam, thanks for being patient with me. I don't even know where to start. Today is November 25th, and currently we are in the energy of the full moon in Gemini. Like, I feel dizzy. It's... I'm, I'm having a huge challenge with all of this energy and where all of the planets are and how all of this stuff affects each other. I, okay, let me just start off by saying the sun, Saturn, and Mercury are in the sign of Sagittarius. The moon is in the sign of Gemini. Gemini is ruled by the planet Mercury. Gemini is the opposite sign of Sagittarius. So I'm feeling like the full moon that we are experiencing now is not only in the planet of Gemini, it's also in the planet of Sagittarius because the planet that rules Gemini is in the sign of Sagittarius. I don't know if that made any sense to you, but in my mind, it, it makes a lot of sense to, to think that the moon is we're in a full moon in Sagittarius slash Gemini. I'll explain all of this to you later. Um, like I said, it was this is a very challenging energy for me because I'm feeling all of these planetary bodies being in this one sign. And then I'm also feeling the moon being in the opposing sign. And it's... Oh, it's such a challenge to me. I have been, um, I've been experiencing download headaches. I've been experiencing um, phases of ascension. I've been experiencing phases of shedding what no longer serves me purpose. On top of experiencing. Um, phases of initiations and yeah I'm gonna make it through it but I wanted to come to you to share with you all of this information I was gonna do a really long vlog on all of these different things but you know if you if you don't really know too much about astrology or astronomy it can get very confusing so what I decided to do was I decided to break all of these different things down into small vlogs and then combined all of them together in one vlog with information about the full moon in Gemini because Mercury, the Sun, and Saturn are affecting the full moon in Gemini. So this vlog is just going to be about Mercury and Sagittarius. And like with all of my other vlogs about astrology and astronomy, I urge you to do your own research and sit down and meditate, get information from your guides or whoever you believe in, or just feel the energy out for yourself. I get the most of my, the majority of my information from a website. Um, the majority of the time that you know the times that the planets change from one uh, zodiac sign to another from a website by the name of drstanley.com and I will give you that information as well. I have taken notes because it's a lot of information so bear with me if you see me looking down. I want to make sure that I um, pinpoint all of the points that I thought were really important. So that I would not be babbling all over the place because like I said, this is a lot of information and it's just very challenging for me. So let's go into Mercury, 
Sagittarius, Mercury being in Sagittarius, and what this all may mean to you in the grand scope of life at this point on Earth. So, Mercury is in the sign of Sagittarius, and it will remain there until December 9th, 9th, yeah, December 9th of this year. And Mercury is the closest uh, planet to the sun. It rules Gemini, the zodiac sign of Gemini and Virgo. I know that you all have heard of Mercury going into its retrograde phase and all of the fear that, that people talk about when Mercury goes into retrograde. Oh, when Mercury goes into retrograde, everything is messed up. Communication is messed up. Electronics are messed up. Travel is messed up. Your thinking is messed up. Your speech is messed up. You might as well just bury your head in the sand and just don't communicate with anybody until Mercury gets out of its retrograde phase because it's just such a horrible period, you know, to be dealing with. And that's not necessarily true. Um, Mercury deals with communication, travel, electronics, thinking. Mercury is associated with Hermes, which is the winged god, the god that has wings on his feet. Hermes is the god that is the messenger for the gods. He was uh, privileged with the role of um, being able to take the messages from the gods and give them, give the messages to those who lived in the material world. Mercury is the god who is able to have one foot in the spirit world and one foot in the material world. Um, the energy of Mercury is about communication. It deals with the intuitive mind. Mercury is rational and logical. It deals with movement and travel. Um, Mercury is the communicator of the gods. Mercury also deals with healing the mind and the body. Um, and that's something that I just more recently found out. Uh, but, it, but it makes sense because Mercury is the element that is needed for transmutation and transformation. Mercury is the prime element in alchemy, in turning base metals into gold. So when I think about Mercury with regards to alchemy, I also think about Mercury with regards to alchemy of the soul. And that's how I, I, I have a better understanding of why Mercury may be involved in healing the mind and um, the body. Because in order for us to facilitate healing, it, we, we also need to, um, if we have like an issue with our body, it's most likely an issue that we have with regards to our thinking. It may be something that is conscious or subconscious with regards to our thinking that is affecting our body to have this ailment or Ill, Ill, illness. So with regards to mercury... Um, being associated with healing the mind and body, that makes a lot of sense because Mercury, the energy of Mercury, targets both the mind and the body to facilitate healing overall. Um, the energy of Mercury, well, the planet of the planet and the energy of Mercury deals with um, our spiritual direction, our thought patterns, how we make sense of the world, how our communication style, our sense of humor, our quickness in thought you are definitely demonstrating your mercury energy if you make a if and when you make a joke and there's some type of you know there's a lot of truth to the joke that is definitely your mercury energy um mercury is like the bridge bridging bridges the gap between our higher selves and our more material materialistic selves our ego and our heart, heaven and earth, um, spirit and flesh, our higher minds and our lower minds. 
um, our higher selves and our lower selves. Mercury also helps us balance the yin and the yang. Now, if you remember, I said Mercury is the God that is able to stand in between heaven and earth and provide um, earth the messages from the heavens. So that shows, that also demonstrates how Mercury is able to balance, um, you know, like be the balance, be the bridgeway between the higher and the lower. Mercury, the energy of Mercury also deals with, um, since it deals with the mind and thinking, um, it can be a trickster. Hermes is known to be a trickster. Um, so it's, it's very possible that the thoughts that you have may not necessarily be 100% true. You could, your mind could be playing tricks on you. So keep that in mind um, with regards to the energy of Mercury. Now, let's talk about Sagittarius. Sagittarius is the zodiac sign that is a human from the waist up and from the waist down it's like a horse. I just absolutely love um I love that 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 representation of Sagittarius cuz it it makes me feel like it's really strong. And then to top that off, it it's always has a bow and arrow in its hand. And that bow and arrow represents the the capability of Tra of long distance travel and long distance thought and long distance knowledge. The energy of Sagittarius is all about the search for wisdom. Sagittarius is ruled by the planet Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun. And Jupiter is the largest planet. All of the characteristics and energies of Jupiter um are also characteristics and energies of Sagittarius. Jupiter is all about expansion. It's all about growth. It's all about abundance. It's all about fullness. Um, Jupiter is the planet of the thinking mind. It's the, the lord of religion and philosophy. Jupiter is um, the guardian of the abstract mind. Um, Jupiter is the ruler of higher, of higher learning. And like I said, all of these energies and characteristics of Jupiter, Sagittarius also has. The energy of, of Jupiter compels us to assess our morals and our ethics. Um, it's all about optimism and positivity. It helps us to formulate our ideas. Um, Jupiter's energy is such that um, it makes you feel like you want to stay on the right path because it's about morals and ethics. Like if you f if you see that you're deviating from uh, what it is that you believe or your morals, the energy when Jupiter comes around, you're definitely going to jump right back on the moralistic and ethical bandwagon and get back right get right back on course um jupiter want the energy of jupiter wants us to grow like i said it's the thinking planet so therefore the energy of saturn also encompasses all of those energies and characteristics saturn is about wisdom gaining wisdom higher learning um our direction in life our conscious direction in life the energy of sagittarius I hope I didn't just say Saturn. And if I did, I'm sorry. The energy of Sagittarius is um, purpose-driven. It's about adventure and travel. Remember when, remember when I was talking about the arrow? That arrow also represents traveling, like our, our search for wisdom. We search outside of what is right here. We, we search outside of what we know. Um, the energy of Scorpio, it being that it's like, it wants 
all of the information that it can possibly get. You feel like you're like a powerhouse of information, like you are the encyclopedias of encyclopedias, or you may feel like you can read the encyclopedia of encyclopedias because you want to get as much knowledge and information and wisdom as you can possibly get. And with all of that knowledge and wisdom, you bring it into whatever is happening in your life so that you are able to function and live a more practical and rational way with all of this information. Um, the energy of Sagittarius motivates you to move on. It's goal oriented. So if you have certain goals, you, while the energy is in Sagittarius, you will definitely feel like, okay, I got to do point one. Okay. I did point one. Let's do point two. Okay. Let's do point three. Let's do point four. It will make you want to keep on growing and keep on going. The energy of Sagittarius is also about, um, taking risks, like thinking out of the box and getting all of that knowledge, um, from outside sources, you know, taking that, that step a little further outside of what is known so that you can have this much more information so that you can use it in your everyday life. And it's also, you may also feel like you don't want to be confined because Jupiter is about expanding. Those are my candles. Jupiter is about... Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, and you see? This is all of my papers back here. So anyway, Jupiter is about expansion. And so is Sagittarius. So you'll feel like, you know what? I don't want to be boxed up. I don't want to be, like, confined to this one little thought pattern. I want to expand. I want to know it all. I, I want the freedom that I need so that I could take that trip to Istanbul and get that information about why it is they have the philosophies that they have or what about their religion makes them do certain things. So it, you know, it's about expanding your, your knowledge, expanding your mind so that you can get more wisdom. While Mercury is in the sign of Sagittarius, we will definitely feel, and we may experience this with other people that are in our close circle. We may see them behaving um, through this energy, and we may see and or feel the urge to communicate the information that we have. We may see and or feel the urge to step outside of the way that we think because Mercury is about thinking. Mercury is about our rational mind. We may take risks with regards to um, how we view things and how we communicate. We may find that we're just like speaking really rash like really rationally and really rashly. We may feel like we are speaking very fast about certain things or we may speak out of turn um, because we have all of this information because and we want to share the information. We want to um, share it with other people so they can use it in a practical and rational way. And we, and in turn, by sharing it, we are reinstilling what it is that we have shared within ourselves so that we are reminding ourselves, yes, okay, yes, this is what I have to do, yes. Um, while Mercury is in, while the planet of thinking and the, the energy of getting messages from the higher realms is in the energy of expansion, we may find that we are afforded the opportunity to get the answers to things that we might not have um, been able to get answers to before because because the energy of Sagittarius is about expanding our knowledge and the energy of Mercury is about um, getting that information and those messages from the higher realms. So this is like the perfect opportunity for us to sit still or make a goal that we're going to meditate or do yoga or whatever it is that we do that puts us in that zone so that we can connect with the higher realms and our knowledge and our wisdom can become expanded. Um, the energy of Sagittarius is 
it wants us to grow. It wants us to prosper. It wants us to have abundance. It wants, it wants us, you know, it will feel like we're very optimistic and like we'll, we want to expand our thoughts. We want to expand our thought process. We want to expand, um, what we believe with regards to our ethics and how we communicate what we believe ethically and morally with, you know, how we live and how we interact with other people. It'll help us to um, see things in a more broad view because Sagittarius and uh, Jupiter is about expansion. It's about growth. It's about growing. It's about abundance. It's about largeness. It's about long distance. It's about travel. It's about the freedom to move around and get that wisdom that you need so that you are able to use that wisdom in your everyday life for growth. Mercury is about thinking. So you are thinking in the higher realms. Um, and, and it's all about com it's about communication and travel as well. So all of that, the energy of Mercury coupled with the energy of Sagittarius allows us to have that communication that we need with our guides, with Source, with God, with whoever you believe in to get the answers and the wisdom that you need with regards to the way you communicate, with regards to... Um, your philosophies with regards to um, your spiritual belief with regards to how you behave and what you think is moral and ethical um, for yourself and for other people it allows you to broaden your perspective um, and your wisdom with regards to these topics and that's extremely great especially in this time and in this age because there's so many things happening whereby when you don't when you don't agree with somebody or you feel like they're doing something immoral or unethical it's like oh, horrible things are happening and this energy allows us to broaden our horizon with regards to our own ethics our own religious beliefs our own moral um compass the way that we think the way that we communicate with regards to our, the religion that we were raised under our morals um and our ethics how we um how we process all of these things and and communicate with others and behave it allows us to broaden all of these aspects of ourselves so that we may not be as um, strict and as in a box with regards to our lives and other people's lives and who they are and how they represent and communicate what it is that they what it what the, the theory that they they live under and um, how they think and why they behave the way that they behave because of their um, religion or their morals you know it, it allows us to be um, more open-minded. Um, and when we are more open-minded, it's not, it's not that we are more accepting or like we will believe what other people um, believe. It's just that we are more, um, we're less judgmental and we're less likely to put our emotions into it. And when emotions come into play, then sometimes actions come into play. And this energy will allow us to communicate with other people in such a way that there's more peace. Like, I may not believe, I may not have the same religious beliefs or moral beliefs or ethical beliefs that somebody on the other side of the globe has. However, while Mercury is in Sagittarius, because our thoughts are more connected to the higher realms and we're able to communicate a little more easily with the higher realms because of Mercury and because of the energy of Sagittarius and Jupiter 
this communication will allow us to expand what it is that we think about how other people behave with regards to their religious background. And when we're able to expand it, like I said, we are we become less judgmental. We become less emotional. And I'm I'm not that's not to say that that you know the things that are happening in the world that are are devastating um is something that you need to brush under the carpet or say, okay, yeah, well yeah, you know, they're killing people, that's fine. That's not what I'm saying at all, but I'm just saying it gives you this energy will allow, has a, will and has allowed us to view things on a more higher, um, on a more higher and spiritual level than on a more dense and materialistic and egotistical level because we are able to get messages from the higher realms that will allow us to understand things in a way that we were not able to understand them before and communicate in a way that we were un were not able to communicate before or even come to an overstanding. Um, and that is something that a lot of us have never been able to come to before. So this energy of Mercury being in Sagittarius is really, is really needed now especially because of all of the fear that the fear and terror that is happening um that and it's not that it hasn't been happening before it's just that it's more pronounced now but this energy i'm hoping that we all are able to use this energy to connect more and get that communication and expansion um and travel that distance mentally so that we are more more peaceful with regards to how we communicate with ourselves our morals and th that may even flow into you know um having a better understanding and wisdom with regards to why people behave the way that they behave with regards to those people's morals and ethics so it's all about expanding our thought process with regards to religious background, ethics, morals, philosophy, um, our direction in life, and the 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 same with those people in that you know that are in our close circle, and even those that are not in our close circle but do have a direct effect on our lives. It's it's just I I feel like it's really really beautiful energy just like all of the other energy that we are surrounded by um and i i didn't really want this vlog to get like political or anything like that but like spirit spirit just took me there because of everything that's happening and i don't watch the news i don't read the newspapers but i do hear about the things that are happening and and there's a lot of fear that is going up on and a lot of um a lot of uh just just not understanding um so i i could definitely see why spirit has um guided me into talking um about you know being able to get wisdom and information from the higher realms with regards to how other people um, think and behave with regards to their their upbringing, their religious upbringing, and their morals and their ethics. Because that right now, that's really, really important for us to all have a better understanding. And that's not to say to agree with. That's not to say um, to change your perspective. That's just to say for us for everybody to have a broader understanding, to have a more well-rounded, to to take that Sagittarius arrow and let it shoot out so that as far as it can possibly go from the distance that we shoot it to where it lands, we'll have all of that information and we'll come to a better overstanding of ourselves and of others. So...
<sighs> yeah, that was a lot, but I guess it needed to be said. So, Mercury and Sagittarius. All about expansion, expanding your thought process, um, optimism, abundance, um, traveling to find information, getting all of the knowledge, communicating with the higher realms. Um, it's just, it's all about it's expanding your search for wisdom and getting that wisdom from getting that wisdom by not being confined and doing that travel that you need to travel and stepping outside of the box and communicating with the higher realms and don't forget that Mercury is the trickster so sometimes the information that we get may not necessarily be true so that also plays a huge part as well um, with regards to having a more well-rounded uh, perspective and view but definitely work with this information. It's really, really beautiful. Um, definitely work with this information. Definitely work with this energy. It's it's beautiful and it also facilitates healing. Um, I strongly believe that all of the energy that we are being surrounded by is all about healing in one way or another. So I have talked enough about Mercury and Sagittarius and I because uh, I need I need to go on to these other vlogs because of this full moon in Gemini okay so fam I am going to get going on the other information and present it to you I hope I didn't confuse you too much like I said I, and, and I encourage you to always do your own research um, but yeah, definitely work with this energy because it's it's really beautiful in energy and it, it it can't do anything but but help you be more knowledgeable and have more wisdom. So I love y'all. I'll check you later.